All right, question number 69. Another question from electrostatics. Now, it's a straightforward question again from capacitor. A parallel plate capacitor of capacitance 90 picofarad is connected to a battery of 20 volt EMF. And a dielectric has been inserted and the dielectric constant is 5 by 3. And we need to calculate the magnitude of the induced charge. Let's see. Let's make a small figure that will help us understand capacitor and now what I'll do is that let me just make two plates here and the first plate is here and the second plate is here but actually you need to understand I've just shown it with a space for the sake of clarity but the question clearly says there is no space between the two plates the whole space has been completely filled by a dielectric all right now with the addition of the dielectric, we know the value of capacitance is going to increase. So now, the new value of capacitance is going to be K times C0, where this will be taken as C0. That's the capacitance with air as the medium. And this has been connected to a battery of 20 volt EMF. So even the potential difference has been given, so that V is equal to 20 volt. Now on the basis of these two value we need to calculate the induced charge appearing on the dielectric surface. So for that what I will do is that let's calculate Q that's going to be K C naught multiplied by V. So that is the charge on the capacitor plate. Now what about the induced charge that goes with a very straightforward formula all right. Now that formula comes out to be Q induced is equal to plus of minus Q into 1 minus of 1 by K. Now even the calculations are not tedious. So when you solve this, plug all the value, you are going to get the induced charge as 1.2 nanocoulomb. So as per this, the correct option is going to be option number 4. So that was question number 69. Now let's proceed to question number 70. Okay, now moving to question number 70, it has been derived from simple harmonic motion and a slight amount of twist has been given, a very slight. You require a small basic of chemistry, that's more than enough. A silver atom is oscillating with this much of frequency. Now once the frequency is known, the time period reciprocal of that, right? Not a big deal. What is the force constant of the bonds connecting one atom with the other? Now, what does this force constant mean? The regular K of simple harmonic motion, which is F upon X. And the same K is written as T equals to 2 pi under root M by K in the expression of time period. Okay, so for this particular question, I'll just make a small indicative diagram here. So this is the a term I have and just a representation. This is the spring, though no actual spring is present, but a simple harmonic representation of this case. Now the time period is known and we need to calculate the force constant. So let's see here, I have the expression T equals to 2 pi under root of M by K. Now here, T has already been given. K is to be calculated. This is the required one. And M being the mass of one atom, that is to be calculated. And there's no big deal because all the constants are given. The molar mass has been given 108 gram. So this M can be calculated as capital M divided by the Avogadro's number. So now what we can do is that just put the value of capital M here, 108 gram. Do not forget to convert the unit. And Avogadro number is given there. You just put it here calculate you're going to get as 7.1 newton per meter a slight amount of calculation is there but not a big deal so that lands us to option number one as the correct answer so for question number 70 the correct option is option number one let's move to question number 71 right